What's up guys? This is Gorilla Gone Gray and this is a video response to N2KTO November 2 Kilo Tango Oscar and his question was uh, uh, show him how to do uh, some of the configuration for paging in the scrambling mode for a search and rescue team. He's got 20 of these things to uh, program and uh, he wants to know how to program them so uh, they could all talk on the same page and stuff like that so uh, here we're gonna start from uh, start from uh, programming one frequency and we'll go through the whole process of paging and uh, the scrambling mode this may be a long video don't know yet now I'm not sure how you are operating this uh, whether you're handing out all these uh, HTs 20 of them to, to your team members and each one are is going to be individually tagged as an with an ID to make them go off and they go home and take them home and you know they they lug around with them in a, and stuff and if there's somebody missing or rescue is being called the dispatch center will will tone them out and they respond from wherever they're at at home or at work or whatever and they come and respond or if these are like in a cache and on the uh, rendezvous point where you all meet to uh, get your assignments, you go out and, and, and hand these out and you do paging and stuff out in the field. I don't, I'm not sure how you guys are, are operating this, so uh, I'm assuming something else or whatever, but uh, we'll see because it's kind of unusual for, for a search and rescue frequency to be used uh, with paging. Usually it's open. Uh, there's no paging uh, and and uh, it's just strict uh, communications, no 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 fancy business in the side. So uh, that's usually what I see. But you guys might be operating a little bit different. Who knows? Yeah, I would like to know actually. So you know, so uh, see how other people do search and rescue in other cities or or states or whatever organization. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to show you a couple of things to look out for and a couple of glitches to look out for too. Uh, this thing is not perfect but uh, hopefully I'll show you what, what they are and, and you can take it uh, take it with you. Anyway, hit program, optional features. We're going to set up the paging, that's what I'm going to do now, paging first. And here in this configuration page where you see battery save okay I'm gonna say this if you're using two-tone paging you can leave the battery saver on it, it just kinda of strobes to receive on and off on and off uh, to save uh, the battery when when somebody's talking the, uh, the battery saver kinda of goes away but if there's some silence the battery saver will click on and that would just cycle the the uh, receive circuits on and off on and off uh, really fast so so it'll save on on, on the batteries when 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 you you're not receiving anything but uh in two two tone paging it will not affect that at all so it, it's okay to have it on and save some battery voltage but if you're going to use uh five tone paging you need to turn it off uh five tones i guess it'll give you a string of five tones and and with with the battery saver on it kind of shuts on and off on and off it might miss one or two digit digits so if you're paging that particular radio in five tone paging you might miss a call as a matter of fact you will miss a call because it does it all the time the only way that I could get it to work uh, reliably is if I, I put it on off the battery saver off and this particular function here you could also access through the faceplate on the menu uh, screen uh, on, your, on your HT. So that's a, that's a gotcha there. So that particular feature is under function settings. So you may or may not want to have the battery save on depending on what depending on what page scenario you're using. Now here's the signaling and you can only access this feature through the software open that up common set you can turn that on and you can have a digit delay of one uh, second or less now you have an auto reset timer 
in the other video I said uh, it goes from off to where it doesn't need it, it, will, it will not auto reset or up to 15 seconds what that does is after you get page if you set this off to 15 seconds if it re if it sees 15 seconds of silence it would reset the pager and it will mute the audio and you won't hear any other traffic until that radio is set off again now if you turn it off when you first turn on the radio and you switch to that channel that's a page channel that's set up for it it the audio is muted but when somebody pages you it would unmute the traffic your speakers and it will stay unmuted it will not reset unless you change channels turn off and on or uh, manually set this on again uh, basically if, if you change channels or configuration or on and off it would reset the, the auto the, the timer uh, and then you would have to get paged again to open up the audio okay DTMF it does not encode DTMF it just sends it out encode it does not decode DTMF so no luck there and then you got 0 to 8 or 0 to 9 slots sorry for the focus to put in like an automatic uh, you know string of DTMF tones like if I press call then 0 on the T DTMF mode it would it would send this out automatically MSK uh, multi shift keen uh, I forgot what that stands for something like that but uh, it doesn't work very well it sends out the tones but it won't decode if somebody's calling you uh, I tried many configurations and it just doesn't work so MSK does not work but it will send out this the code in MSK form two-tone so on the two-tone you'll get this window here and in the bottom you see tone a tone B tone and C tone and that's where you set the individual ID for this radio here this is going to be the spot where where it identifies this specific radio so the tone for for radio number one that I have here is uh, a tone is 700 Hertz B tone is 1 uh, K Hertz and the C tone 550 and my decoder call will be a B which means if somebody's encoding there uh, if anybody wants to activate my radio they would have to send out 700 Hertz and in, in 1k Hertz uh, in a string to to activate my my pager now uh, let's say I'm in a group of 20 of search and rescue team members and they want to call the whole group not just one individually then the C tone will come into place and that's 550 so let's say it will be C tone for the group call so that will call the whole t the whole team where A and B decoder call would just call my one individual radio uh, the slots up here is to call another radio so I got radio number two a different radio that I'm programming that would have 700 for A tone 900 Hertz for B tone and a gap of 80 milliseconds uh, when you when you first send out the, the tone it's gonna wait 80 milliseconds for things to kinda settle you know you don't wanna send it off uh, right away when you first press the, the button to to transmit in case you're going through a repeater because you're gonna have a little bit of lag time so that's where you put that lag time to to make everything stable uh, so the party that you are calling uh, will be ready to receive the full code and, and not be you know truncated or, or cut off so here I'm, I'm just gonna program the group call because I never I actually never did demonstrate this or played with it so it's going to be right there a tone of 550 I don't know if it will let me 
So that's going to be my group call in slot number nine. Slot number zero is me calling. Slot number zero is me calling another radio. So you got 20 of these. This is where you will put 20 your 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 individual calls. So A tone will be 700. B tone will be 1,000. So uh, to dif differentiate your 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 team members, I would go maybe 20 of them, right? So 750. 725, 600, 650, uh, you know, and so forth in, in groups of 50 hertz to, to differentiate, uh, to separate them apart, however you want to do it. So in summary, these boxes here is automatic send out using your faceplate to send out these codes to another radio to activate the other radio. These boxes down here is to personalize the one radio that you have. That's going to be the ID to activate your radio. Five tone paging. And uh, this is the uh, configuration page for that. And there it is highlighted. And these are the standard tones. Uh, I forgot what this stands for. Uh, all these mean something. And what that does is, if you notice the uh, the boxes here on the right that would change when, when you when you uh, change the uh, standard I think the American standard is EIA and I forget what that stand for but it changes it bottom line is you want everybody to be the same too so it's, it's going to change the tones uh, quite a bit if, if you if you mix and match them so EIA is my standard uh, like I said, I never seen this used in the, in the United States or in any other system that I maintain. Response waiting time. That there is uh, how long you want your radio to wait for a response from a radio that you are calling before it kind of uh, gives up on it. Uh, that's where where you have that automatic transponder answer back where you call a radio, he de he decodes it. Uh, he knows he's being called then he kind of calls you back to let you know that hey I'm listening what, what what's your traffic fixed digit fixed digit uh, here's your ID and that's where you personalize your radio so my radio is 0001 the other radio is 00002 and fixed digit what that would do is it would fix the di first four digits to zero uh, in my case, for my demonstrations, and, and we only have two radios, uh, I don't need to to put in all five digits. Uh, if if I if I were to leave this uh, zero, and I want to call my wife, which is uh, number two or number one, I would have to punch in on 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 the uh, faceplate zero 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 one, and then push the talk, and it'll send it out. But if I put a fixed digit of four, the first four digits are automatically filled. So all I really have to press is one and, and then push and talk and it will send it out. In your case, you got 20 of those things. I would put down three because then the last two digits here are open and you could, you could open up, uh, you could call 99 radios like that, an ID of 99 radios. So the first three digits are automatically placed on there and then you have the last two digits to call whoever you want in your group you have 20 of them it, it makes things a little bit more streamlined if you know if you know what I'm talking about and that's paging and like I said this ID here is 00001 so that's how you personalize the radio so I'm gonna save and close this page and you're done with uh, programming it as far as uh, the IDs now we're, we're gonna set up the individual channels so I'm gonna use Muir's number uh, channel 2 to test with uh, I would imagine you're using either ham channel or your local sheriff department's channel so let's my pretend this is a sheriff department's channel so 151 dot eight eight for transmit 
I'm assuming you're using simplex so it's 151.88 and it'll work in uh, repeater mode as well uh, so this is your search and rescue channel and usually the way I see search and rescue channels is simplex uh, you're not decoding, you're not encoding. Maybe you're, you are, maybe you're not. Uh, here I'm going to put the low power, but you know, you could use whatever power you, you want to uh, use. Uh, it's going to be a narrow band channel because it's a uh, part 90 frequency, make it pretend that is. And here is going to be SAR two tone for two tone paging. Busy channel lockout. I put that off because that would just interfere with your traffic. If you're if you're receiving a channel and uh, or it receives static and uh, it won't let you transmit unless that static is clear. So that's that could be a safety issue there. Push to talk ID, that's if you got a, a NIA code being transmitted. Vox if you're using something else, you know, a, a hands-free microphone or something like that. Uh, options. Okay, this is the scrambling mode and we'll cover that a little bit later. If you go all the way at the end, you'll see more there and that would open up the the visuals for you per channel instead of like a big spreadsheet so here you have a big spreadsheet of stuff if you hit the arrow for more it'll just concentrate on one channel and it has all the all the uh, settings there that's concerned with that one channel so uh, for display purposes only I'll, I'll use this mode so here's my narrow BCL off, Vox off options are off that's for the scrambler now options of signaling that's where you set the two-tone five-tone and other stuff two-tone and you're set that is all you need to do now the one concern that I have with with the paging options is uh, okay let's say you're out in the field uh, you're at home and, and you're on standby for for something to happen you get paged your, your, your radio will open up, you hear the traffic, and you hit the road. It's very easy for you to uh, hit a button on your HT, it'll change channel, or do something like that, or turn off and on, and then it's going to mute again, and you want it to hear the traffic. So what I would do for safety reasons for your team members, uh, search and rescue, is to have a, a, a paging channel, SAR two-tone, uh, two if that's the method that you're using and then I'll have the same exact thing but with the option turned off the option signaling turn off so uh, you could turn to that second channel and uh, what do you call it uh, and it, you won't have to worry about getting your HT bumped or anything and mute it and, and if you get an emergency call you won't be able to hear it but if you turn to that other channel after you know what's going on in your page and everything uh, the traffic will still come in. So here's that that second channel that I was talking about 151.88 tab it'll fill things up uh, automatically no decode no encode depending on what you're using uh, narrow band low power just for display purposes only and then I'll have no option to signaling so the traffic will be on all the time and I'll name this SAR uh, just plain old SAR SAR open for open channel oh, it won't let you do that SAR O for open okay so that's uh two-tone and that's how you would set it up